What's up guys and welcome back. In today's video, I'm gonna be checking out two brand new decks of cards that I just received, uh, which are the Bruce Lee playing cards and the Cobra playing cards. Kind of a bit of a martial arts theme going on here. Update number one, for those of you who have received your first playing cards, a lot of people have written me, I haven't received a link with the secret trick. I will send out a secret trick via email, which I'm working on right now. Uh, as soon as everybody gets their cards, that link will be sent to you in a mass email with an unlisted video to a trick that you guys can perform with this deck. And update number two, not, not really an update. We ran a contest last week uh, with some fan art, so I have compiled the very best fan art that you guys have uh, submitted. Although, I was gonna choose one winner to send three decks to, which I still will. There's also a few other people who I'm sending a single deck to just because I couldn't only pick one. And for all of those who, who submitted and who are not featured, thank you so much. It means everything to me to see that. It's so amazing that you guys took the time. But let's get into some of these submissions. I like this one just because it's super simple. I mean, me thinking about views, which is hilarious, and uh, a tattoo that just says tattoo. I don't wanna be a hater. Okay, I hope you like my sketch. It took me about eight hours to complete. Chris Ramsey, you misspelled my last name. I really hope you like my sketch. I did it on canvas with charcoal. Again, I don't want to be a hater, but I'm pretty sure you didn't. It's kind of cheating, so. Uh, this guy too. <laughs> this took me about three hours to draw. Bro, if that took you three hours to draw, like you forget magic. This is some cool digital art. Sunny the one, appreciate that. This is a really cool sketch, artsy buckle. Thank you for that. L Wombat's art, very, very well done skull. This is also really cool. I like this one because it's vibrant, it's colorful. This is a cool digital art piece that kind of looks like a poster like from the 20s, like a, like a Howard Thurston poster or something. Now let's get into the winners. So first I'm gonna run through the runner up. You guys all get one deck of cards. I will DM you if I haven't already. First runner up is this 3D render, this kind of like auto CAD 3D render of my head. If I were to make a sim, this would be it. So thank you for that. You got a deck coming your way, buddy. Anik DeGator. This is incredible. I showed this one to my mom and she was like blown away. It's insane. You also got a deck coming your way. So thank you for that. This is one of my favorites. Probably came close to being my favorite. Drew Obi. Handing out a deck of first playing cards. Tensei Tao, this is unbelievable. So, so, so dope. Keep drawing, please. Lieri Art, I don't know how to pronounce your name, but this is insane. I don't understand how someone can just scribble and yet be so accurate. Uh, Dami's Photos, you also got a deck coming your way because I think this is just one of the cooler poses where I'm like holding that skull. Then we have Nicolas, Nicolas Tiedemann. This charcoal, this is charcoal. Killed it, bro. This is insane. How does a human being recreate this? This is in incredible. Please pursue this in your life. Please do this every day. So finally, the winner of uh, three decks of cards is uh, this one here by Cyan Rupak. There's something about this that I absolutely love. I love that they're not exact. I look like I'm in like a Tolkien book or something. The abstractness and the surrealism is just so, so, so great. This, this one captivated me the most out of all of them. And, and it was really hard to choose one that stood out. Guys, you put so much time and effort into every one of these drawings. I'm completely blown away. So this one gets three decks of cards. I will DM you as well. So thank you so much for all the submissions. I'm sorry I couldn't feature absolutely everybody who drew something or who came up with something digitally, but I really, really appreciate you. And thank you, thank you so much. I think this was such fun contest to host. And every day I was refreshing my feed and, and showing my friends and my family all these really, really rad pictures that you guys came up with. So thank you for that. All right. Let's Let's get into uh, checking out some decks of cards. First of all, Bruce Lee versus Cobra Kai. Oof. Let's start with the Bruce Lee deck. Cellophane comes off nicely. Always a good, always a good thing. This is the tuck case. Uh, tuck case is a nice little cardboard. No embossing on the tuck case, just straight printing, but very simple with a nice little, uh, nice little seal. Ooh wee! I love this. Have a good look at the inside of this tuck case. That is pretty. That is really pretty. Ooh, look at these cards. Baby, baby, baby. These are, oh, these feel great too. They don't feel, uh, they don't feel too thick. They're really easy to fan out and very easy to spring. Oh my gosh, these are like butter. 
These feel really nice, not gonna lie. They got a little two-way dragon back design. Uh, you got some ad cards here. They look really good. Uh, there is a bit of a misprint, I can see, and that's just something that happens from time to time with USPC. And that doesn't mean that all the decks are like this. Sometimes it's a very, very limited de amount of decks that have this where it's a little bit off-printed and that happens. It's just something you can't avoid and it's nothing you can really control uh, because of the amount of decks that are printed and stuff. Uh, but not all the cards in the decks are like this. You can see like this one's completely fine. It might happen to a few of them, a little bit offset, but that doesn't really throw me off to be honest. Here are the faces. Oh, the faces are interesting. Be what up, my friend? Got all these quotes, using no way as way. Oh, I see you, Nick. Having no limitation as limitation. All types of knowledge ultimately means self-knowledge. Not a really good quote. This guy's like, this guy's like Gandhi. Oh, the jokers are badass. There's one and there's the other. Those kicks. Pretty sick. The aces has this uh, yin yang, which is dope. What do the other ace have? The other ace and the other, they're all just quotes. These are not cards that you would perform magic with. These are definitely cards that you would just do cardistry with or just uh, have laying around at your house. Obviously for me, um, if this was a standard deck of cards with a back like this, I would I would prefer that personally much more because then I would find a use for it in everyday carry. However, this is a really, really cool addition to the collection. I really, really like the, uh, the back design. I say really, really a lot, so I'm gonna stop saying that. I really like the back design. All right, they pharaoh really well. Look at that, eh? Look at that. Look how beautiful that is. Ooh, is that a thumbnail? I don't know. What? Oh no. Whoops. I'll I'll stick to I'll stick to magic. All right, that was the Bruce Lee deck. Now let's have a look at the Cobra Kai deck. I know it's not the Cobra Kai deck, and I call it the Cobra Kai because I'm I'm a '90s kid and I was born in the '80s. To so go along with the martial arts theme, let's check out the Cobra Kai deck. Oh god. One of the, you're one of those, aren't you? Oh yes, you are. Oh, what? Okay, hold on a second. And they look incredible. Look at that look. That is a dope look. Yeah, so, oh my God. The way this feels is, it is really, really slick. This feels like the same cardboard as, do you know the red monarchs, how they have like a velvety feel? That's what this feels like. I wish you could touch this right now. Here, go ahead and touch it. You see what I mean? You see? Gold embossing, cobra. I love this uh, line that goes across and it's actually two cobras. Uh, really, really nice minimalistic design. And check out the back here. Blind embossed. I'll put it to the light so you can see. There's like a cobra there embossed. I wanna rub this because it feels so nice. And I see a tuck case this nice. Cards better live up to it. Thing on the inside, except we got two little cobra heads, which is really cool. Oh, and it continues from here. That's clever. More cellophane. Ooh, look at the back. Very sort of classic, but still has that line art modern feel to it. And look, the cards stay together. Isn't that sick? Ugh, so much plastic. Why do, why do they do this? Like, dude, there's enough plastic in the world. Stop wrapping your cards twice. Let's save a little bit of plastic, right? So these are printed in, uh, manufactured by Cartamundi. Cartamundi, man, we've been seeing a lot of you guys, huh? And they feel great. They feel like the Copags, like the one that I, uh, I reviewed. Very soft, yet thick. They're thick, yet soft. Much like myself. Here's the ace. Check that ace out. Look at that ace. That's a nice ace. A little bit of metallic gold there. This is one of those back designs that could work in any color. If you printed a green version, I think the green version would also be dope. A blue version, like a royal blue. One thing about Cartamundi, I'm always afraid of the longevity of the cards. Like how long are they gonna stay this nice without clumping up? If I start playing with these tomorrow, will they, will they all of a sudden be complete crap? I hope not. I feel like it's no, but it may be. Um, I'll test them out. The faces are standard, which I appreciate. The pips are a little thicker in the indices. They are a little thicker, which is nice too. Uh, and they put that gold metallic ink on the faces, which is cool. And you get your jokers here. So pretty much identical. If you were to do a magic trick with these, no one would be able to tell them apart. Although this is in red, that's in black. No one would really know unless you drew their attention that way. But the jokers are really, really slick. And then you get a double backer and a blank card, which is really cool. So definitely a deck you could perform magic with. See, this is something that I would carry around, a deck like this. I'd be afraid to damage the box. However, this box is just immaculate. Great job. I never asked for them. They never even sent me a note. They just like, here's a ton of cards. Hope you enjoyed that uh, little review. I really like these, by the way. Look how, look how thick that is. Like, I don't know if you can tell, but it's literally thicker. Look at that. It's thicker. The cards are thicker than the box of the Bruce Lee cards. I think you guys knocked it out of the park. Uh, and that's it. Oh, got it. Dale nailed it. Mm. If you try to remember, you will lose. Sweep the leg.
All right, guys, that about wraps it up for this uh, review of these two playing cards. I haven't done a playing card review in a long time. There's a reason for that, because I have a new series coming up. I'm so stoked to share with you. Uh, I'm headed to Toronto Monday to shoot something with a good friend of mine, Peter McKinnon, one of which is uh, one of the first episodes of this series that I'm coming out with. I will drop the name of the series uh, uh, soon. Uh, I don't want to give away too much, but I'm really, really stoked for it, and I hope you guys will tune in and uh, give it a shot. So anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Like this video if you did like it. Subscribe if you're new here. Notify yourself with the notification button. That was my phone, and we'll see you on the next video. Peace. Right.